Hi, I'm James Luxton, Special Deployments Lead at Shelterbox. What we're tracking right now is one of the most serious storms that we've seen in the Caribbean in a number of years. That's Hurricane Irma. And currently that's tracking through some of the eastern islands, including Barbuda, where it's already actually gone over that island. But we've had no communication since that point because it seems to have taken out um, electricity communication channels there. It's currently working its way west towards uh, Haiti, onto Cuba, um, then possibly the American coast as well. The further we get ahead, the harder it is to predict exactly where it's going to go. So our attention right now is focused on those islands that we know have been really seriously affected by this. You might have heard of different categories of hurricane and Hurricane Irma right now is a category five. That's the top end of the categorization. It goes from one, which is significant winds that can cause some damage through to category five, which is winds over 157 miles an hour that causes what they call catastrophic damage. And those winds can take whole buildings down. They can obviously uproot trees and cause significant damage. And the other really serious thing they do is cause storm surges as well. And the biggest damage that you'll normally find associated with these hurricanes is actually the water that gets pushed before or after them in the storm surge. So in some of the areas in the Caribbean right now, there's storm surges predicted of seven to 11 foot. And what actually practically happens there is a hurricane is a really strong uh, low pressure depression. And that physically pushes the water down. When that passes away, the water rushes back in to fill that space. And that's where you get the storm surge pushing through. So if you imagine all around the coastline here in Cornwall or anywhere else around the world, the number of communities that would inundate, the amount of damage that would do, and the really serious risk to life that would be associated with that, that's what's happening right now. One of the reasons that we're paying so much attention to Hurricane Irma is it's the most significant hurricane we've seen in that part of the world for a number of years. And it's gonna affect both the Caribbean and the American East Coast. It's gonna pass through communities that are highly vulnerable uh, in areas like Haiti and some of the more remote uh, Eastern islands in the Caribbean. A, they're very difficult to access, but also they're very poor communities. So they don't have the resources to repair like some of the others. And also they're not gonna have um, that base on which to start rebuilding their lives afterwards. That combined with the record-breaking ferocity of this storm means it's one that we'll be tracking very closely. We have a team on Red Alert standby. That means they're ready to deploy to Hurricane Irma affected islands as soon as it's safe to do so and carry out those assessments to see if there is a place for shelter box in that response. In addition to that, we've still got our teams active in Nepal and also Bangladesh, where there's catastrophic flooding happening across those countries and in India as well. So working really closely with the local organizations, including Rotary, to find that gap and see if we can support people in rebuilding their lives there. If you'd like to support Shelterbox to help families in crisis, then please visit our website www.shelterbox.org or take a look at our Facebook and Twitter channels.